what it is. What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another one. Y'all already know what to do. If you have not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing. It's free. Just hit that red button. You already know what to do. But uh, <sighs> I'm a little frustrated today because um, as you saw in my last video, I ended up installing my sound system and my charger. And during the tuning process, I started to hear this weird noise coming from my subwoofer. So after further um, investigation, I ended up noticing that there was a tear in my subwoofer surround. So I'm gonna have to go take this sub out the box, send it in to JL Audio um, to get refoamed. And of course there's a cost associated with it, but that's what I'm gonna do today, man. Like that's, that's the pain of having uh, car audio. You know, I've had this sub for about six years now. So this sub held up quite well. And to be honest with you, this sub was, was long overdue to get reconed due to scuff marks and stuff. And you know, for having a sub in your trunk, um, especially with it being a daily driver, you know, putting things in your trunk, groceries, bags, and things of that nature, it's, it's bound to happen. So uh, I think this sub just had a small tear in it. Um, and with the, you know, over time, you know, from the flex of the sub, um, face plate, you know, over time, it just, it just made it worse. So yeah, I'm gonna get this thing done today and hopefully be back in the game in no time. So here we go. See the little scuff marks and stuff. I have a couple of scuff marks right there. I have a small punch right there, but that's not all the way through. And this is what I noticed. Look at that. Look at that. The sub still plays and it's, you know, it's not blown or anything like that, but as it's flexing, you definitely hear that and it sounds like a blown sub almost. So get this thing taken out of the box and um, yeah, we're gonna get this thing turned in. This is a 12 inch W7AE, which stands for Anniversary Edition. Um, this thing sounds beast, y'all. And this is a LAB slap box, lab slap box custom built for this um, subwoofer. So uh, initially I had a prefab box that I put this in, which was a jail spec built box. Um, and it sounded good in that, but it's nothing compared to this box, nothing compared to this enclosure. So make sure y'all check out that. Matter of fact, I'm posting their website right here. Make sure you check out their website. Come on, focus back. There we go. Um, Make sure y'all check out their website because they offer custom built enclosures for various subwoofers, um, Sundown, um, Kicker, and so far and so on. So make sure y'all check them out, y'all. And she is out the box. So here's the tear right here. Yeah, it had to have a little um, tear in it or something because initially um, that wasn't there. It wasn't like this when I was tuning my um, sound system with the sound processor the other day. So over time, just, you know, with loud and consistent playing and just over time, it just, you know, became worse. So it's due for it. It's due for it. So we're going to get this thing uh, sent off and fixed. All right, so got this beast sitting right here. Uh, if it ain't one thing, it's another, man. Like, that's the that's the thing about modifying cars. Let me get you guys set up real quick. That's the thing about modifying cars, whether it's your cardio system, performance, or whatever. Something is always bound to go wrong. <laughs> it's always something that either you don't have the tools for it, or you don't have a socket, you're missing a 10 millimeter socket, something is always bound to go wrong and i don't know man like i've been sitting here trying to think like man, what could have happened to cause my sub to to break because i literally put that sub in storage during the time i was in deployment and it hasn't moved it hasn't anything and i was extremely careful when i put the sub in the car so it is what it is like i said it's it's due for reconing anyways but I'm on the way to the stereo shop now to try to 
get this thing dropped off, but I had to make a stop at my favorite uh, food spot, Chick-fil-A. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, that was supposed to have been a large. A large? Okay, let me go ahead and get that for you. Is it a fry large? Yeah. Um, the, side of the sticker on the side of the bag, just fill it. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, it's, honestly, I can, I can fine with this. Okay? I'm fine with this. Thank right, you. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah. You know what's crazy about Chick-fil-A <laughs> is even when their customer service is so bomb that it doesn't matter. I've had a few times and I'm talking about few times when they got my order wrong and I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad. Like even right now, my order was supposed to have been a large and everything was large except my drink. So, but whatever. I, I generally don't drink all of my drink anyway. So perfect size. But I have to get those large fries, man. Them, them waffle fries are bomb, bomb. But I'ma get, I'ma smash this food real quick. Oh shoot, my bad. Sorry guys. But yeah, I'ma smash this food real quick and um, get with you guys as soon as I get to the stereo shop. All right, made it to the shop finally. Get this thing out the car. thing heavy the speaker is not the lightest speaker I'll actually get you guys in a second when I get this thing out right. get this thing dropped off right now got this thing sitting up here it's got to get sent off to jail how long is it um roughly the turnaround time you think a couple of weeks, couple of weeks? Yeah. okay that's fine She's gonna get a all new surround put on there. And what's the um, warranty on them? Like just defects? Like how long is the actual warranty once they recon? Okay. Oh, this equipment right here. The serial number is. Hold on. All this equipment in here. Got subs and stuff back there. Got all kinds of stuff in here. Got them DS 18s in here. Oh, they're cheap too. I don't really care for DS 18s like that, but they, them things do get pretty loud. Horn tweeters. So the jail charges um, $350 for the actual reconing of the speakers um, and it comes with an actual warranty on them. Um, for the recon process so i know a lot of people probably probably like man you could probably do it yourself and blah 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 yeah i could but i'm all about warranties man i'm all about getting it done right the first time i've never reconed a speaker myself so i'd rather not go that route and risk the potential of breaking something putting too much adhesive on the actual cone and it altering the sound because speakers are very finicky when it comes to that stuff so i'm definitely not trying to mess it up and for those of you that know you can go on jail's website right now that's a thousand dollar sub right there and i'm not trying to risk tearing that up <laughs> so especially since it's not blown it just needs a new uh cone on it so all right so literally just pay oh hello kitty <laughs> so literally just paid the shipping for it that's the only charge that they have up front right now so this thing gonna get sent off it does come with a 30-day warranty they said so it is what it is i'm pretty sure jail is gonna do it right um if it was just a regular shop that did it in-house i probably wouldn't be too satisfied with a 30-day warranty like 30 days is not long enough time in my opinion for a general shop unless that shop is repu reputable i can't ever say that word right but if they have a good reputation that's what i'm trying to say um then i can see going with a 30-day warranty but like i say it's just a recon it's not like the sub is blown or anything like that like i need a new coil and like a completely refurbished sub it's literally just 
the cone itself. So, um, well, the foam, not the cone, the foam itself. So, but um, I got to run a couple of errands today. I go grocery shopping. I got to do all kinds of stuff. I've been busy, y'all. I've been busy. <laughs> today today has been a crazy day and it's gloomy outside as y'all can see it's just it's one of those days when you just want to snuggle up in your bed watch some movies you know what i'm saying just just chill but i'm out here running around running errands but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video y'all um make sure y'all stay tuned on the channel man because i got something big coming for nunu i got something big coming for nunu uh i'm right now I've already got the parts for what I'm doing. I'm just waiting on the shop to get an opening um, to where I can drop the car off to get everything done. So like I said, make sure y'all stay posted. I definitely got heat coming for y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys will like what's gonna get done to Nunu. I'm pretty, uh, let me know in the comments below how y'all feel about Nunu right now, but just stay posted because it's it's just gonna go up and up and up i'm telling you for this summer i'm gonna be ready nunu is gonna be show ready for this summer um but yeah it's definitely gonna be a head turner but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you like the contents of this video y'all already know what to do make sure you smash that like button hit that notification bell so you don't miss any any footage that i drop for you guys um and uh follow me on instagram post that right here again for you guys if you want to show support to the channel make sure you hashtag salute on all your pictures and videos put that right there for you guys as well and uh yeah that's it so i hope y'all have a good day youtube